Hello everyone, in the previous video we learned how to create buttons. We also made an example by defining a task function for the button. In this video, we will learn how to create frame objects used when developing desktop applications with Python. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me. Let's first consider why frame objects are created. Desktop projects contain many objects. The control of these objects becomes more difficult as the number increases. To avoid this we use frame objects. Thanks to the frame, we can more easily control all objects on the desktop. Now I want to show you how it is used in practice. You can learn better if you do the project with me. In the first lesson, we learned how to create a desktop window. There is currently an empty project. I will add a frame object to it. I am creating a variable. I synchronize the frame function with the variable. I can set the physical properties of the frame object with the parameters sent to the function. First, I determine which object will be created in it. The frame object will be created in the app window. Now I will send a few more parameters. I'm adjusting the dimensions. I can set the corner value. Finally, I set the color. I am using the pack function to sync with the desktop window. We added a frame object to the app desktop window. For example, let's change the corner value. Notice how the corners get bigger. Let's change the color and size. You can learn more easily by changing all the parameters sent to the function. This is how you can create the frame object briefly. Now I will create buttons in the frame object. As we learned in the last lesson, we need the button function. But instead of syncing master to app I will sync it to frame. The frame object side was inside the app variable. Think of them as nested objects. If you are confused here, please mention it in the comments. You can set the name of the button with the string synchronized with the text parameter. I adjust the position of the button with the place function. The three parameters sent to the function represent the location. You can change the position of the button in the frame with X and Y coordinates. This way you can create a button. Let's change the parameters sent to the function. I am changing the button name and position value. Now I am creating another button using the same method. I synchronize the button with the frame as before. I am adjusting the position of the button.
I created two buttons. Now I want to show you some examples. I'll try to better understand how they work by changing the parameters sent to the function. Please make samples with me. By changing the values we can better learn how they work. Now let's add a task function to the buttons as we did in the previous lesson. I create the first task function. It will be activated when the first button is clicked by the user. I am printing a text indicating that the button has been pressed. I do the same for the task function of the second button. The function will be activated when the second button is clicked. Let's see how they work. When the buttons are clicked, the task functions work. In this video, we learned how to create frame objects used when developing desktop applications with Python. In the next video, I will provide information about table operations that are frequently used in desktop applications. Thanks for watching. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me.